What's up guys? Welcome back to another Madden 25 tip. Guys, today we're showing you how to run the ball out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. Um, real quick though, uh, I want to make a quick note. If you want to pound the rock, uh, you might consider coming out in the I-Form Twins Flex. They have a really good play. The Saints halfback power is a really nice run. Uh, and, and you could potentially maybe come out in like a fullback dive or a halfback blast and set up your audibles. What's interesting that you can really do, though, what I like to do is come out in the strong close. And I typically will come out in like a counter weak or something or maybe a quick toss. And what you'll notice here is this. You can, um, so like if I was running maybe the halfback force, I would motion Jones. Now, if they follow Jones, I now know that I can run this ball off tackle pretty consistently. And you'll see that that's a nice little read there that I like to have. But what if they don't follow Jones? Well, if they don't follow Jones, then there's no reason to run it to that side of the field because then they would have a plus one advantage. So maybe something like this situation where they base a line. Now I know that I don't want to run to that side of the field. So I would audible to my weak H twins halfback blast and now have a numbers game advantage on the left side of the field. So that is just some basic principles that you could go off of here. But what's really neat is like say like for example like they're in this dime set. So I wouldn't run a run a quick toss against a dime because it's a wider set wider formation. So I may want to run more of a power run. So I'll go to my I form twins halfback power and you'll see now I have a much more of a heavy run that way and you know try to get some yards like that and then another cool note here is this you have the bucks wide trail in your playbook and so maybe something you could do is maybe once in a while put Jones on that hitch route motion that out and uh, have a nice little quick pass game going there so all sorts of kind of things that you can do out of this playbook running wise but I want to give you guys a quick little run left, run right, run middle, attack out of a three wide receiver set because that's what our base play is out of. So situations where you may uh, want to run the ball, the formation I think is best is the tray open. Uh, this was actually going to be my base formation for a while, but the play that we like to come out in um, is the inside zone. I love the inside zone. This is our run to the right and our run to the middle. Uh, you can use it in both ways. You'll see we can uh, run it right down the right down Main Street if they're you know maybe widening out their formation. But the second that they start trying to uh, the second that they start trying to maybe take away the middle of the field, you'll see what we like to do is we like to back juke and go outside on the outside like that. So. That's something we like to do. Obviously, didn't work too well there, but we'll show you. Or, I mean, you could just angle your guy's run stance to the outside. This probably isn't a good example because I'm in a dime formation. And so, you know, they're wider based of a formation here. We'll try to get an example for you. But you see, we can get out wide like that and maybe get some blocking from our receivers. And this would be a pretty good run. Here is a really optimal situation when they don't uh, watch out for that counter. You can easily run the halfback counter run. And uh, when you have a numbers game advantage, the halfback counters are a little not quite as effective as they were last season, but uh, they still get the job done, especially if you're good with the sticks and make the cuts. This becomes a really optimal run. And then the cool part about this is they have a, tr a slip screen off of this. So one thing that I really like to do is motion my running back over to the right side of the screen, place him on an in route. And you'll see, uh, I think this does a really good job for screens, especially against zone. If they're in man-to-man -man coverage like you just saw, I'm in just a basic two-man under here. What you can do is you can maybe place some basic hot routes on the right side as well. You know, maybe you put an out route to the left with an in route, a hitch route, and a curl route or something like that. So that if they are in man, you can easily beat it as well. But that's just some quick pass options. Um, another good play for quick pass is this wide corner play. It's a snap throw to the running back. You have to click on and hit triangle. But if you do that, um, this is just a really nice play. Another good play is this mesh wheel. It's a set within a set, so we can hot route Jones to a streak after we audible to it and you know maybe hit him deep with, with Jacoby Jones on that side. So just a ton of stuff we could do. The possibilities passing-wise are endless from this formation, but it all starts with having a nice little quick snap run that you can get out. You can come out in the counter. You can come out in the inside zone. You can set your audibles up perfectly with the custom playbook feature. And uh, this formation could be really something that, 
uh, you know, kind of frustrate your opponent as well. Uh, another formation that we have also, if you're in a quick snap move, you you know that our base formation is the gun normal halfback weak. Well, if you audible here to the single back, you'll see they have a single back dice slot, one audible to the left, and you could run, you know, your inside zone. It's actually called halfback smash in this playbook, but you can you can run that down the middle as well. Another cool part about the um, the num the gun normal uh, halfback weak as a in combination with the gun dice slot is you get the opportunity for maybe under center quick passes. Uh, you'll see they have a really nice play here, this Z spot. And what you can do is take Pitta, we can put him on a zig route, and then we're going to take Smith and we're going to put him on a slant. We're going to motion Smith in about three to four steps, and we can snap throw to the running back. We can also snap throw. I'll show you here a couple of quick passes. But um, we can also snap throw to the tight end. So you see here, I'll try to get an example where we throw to the tight end. We see we can quick snap. I can't really show you here because we're in a dime set, but... You know, I mean, we all know snap throw zigs are always good. And the cool part is off of that, you can also um, you can also hit the slant route on the motion in. So, like, if, for example, here, we put him on that slant. We got that zig. Bring uh, Smith in. We like to snap kind of right in there. And you'll see the slant route. Uh, if he doesn't open against man on the slant, you can playmaker it back across the field and it'll get open as well. Uh, so that's just a couple of ideas, guys, of the ways that I would run the ball. There's several ways to run the ball every year. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, this is one of the ways that I've found, and this is one of the ways I think works best for me. So uh, you guys can check that out. Uh, anyways, guys, but that is what I've got for you today. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash cmballard0531. I live stream a lot more than I used to. I try to do it once or twice a week. And uh, it's just a great opportunity for you to come hang out with me. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch so that you know when I go live. Thanks, guys.